when you look around and you look at the beauty of it you think why would saint thomas not utilize what we have here really why not because this place could bring in so much tourists and we've seen people come and they're on holiday here and they have a look and then they don't stay because there's nowhere for them to relax. We're regulars at this beach. It's a beach that we have very fond memories of and we absolutely love the beach. But over the years, we've watched it decline. We used to have people that used to maintain it and it was nice. The infrastructure is all broken down, rotted away no repair is done when we come in the morning we bring our own broom and we sweep the gazebo out and make ourselves as comfortable as we can we spend every day. now and again we bring bags and we rake up the rubbish bag it up and take it up to the top mm. just so that the environment where we are is maintained clean. and is kept clean um, it's really sad that something as beautiful as this is allowed to go into such disrepair because people pay thousands to come to Jamaica and to enjoy our beaches and yet we as locals are expected to sit in a squalid situation you know, and children should be able to enjoy this. Schools should be able to enjoy it. Mm -hmm. And on a day like this where the sea is calm, elderly people should be able to safely walk and go into the water and get the therapeutic benefit of it. So we dream of having enough money to fix it up ourselves, but that's just a dream. Because really, when you look around and you look at the beauty of it, you think, why would St. Thomas not utilize what we have here? Really, why not? Because this place could bring in so much tourists. And we've seen people come and they're on holiday here and they have a look and then they don't stay because there's nowhere for them to relax. We lend out our broom so that they can sweep around where they're sitting. Yeah, you know, it is really and sad. Our toilet facility. There are no toilet facilities. The toilet, toilet facilities are there, but they're not. not there's so nobody manning it, no. so they're locked up. No water. So there's no water on the beach as well. No. No. Because people stole their faucets, so they had to lock <laughs> off the water. Mm. The toilets are locked up. The room there that they used to have the bar, they've, they've stolen stole the even the door. Door. from off the building can you believe it mm. so the door looks open but it's because the door has been removed oh, somebody removed, the door. Somebody removed oh, the door so you know you just think it's a shame but we as i said we come at least twice a week oh oh you live close by yeah oh. i'd come every day if i could <laughs> <laughs> but life gets in the way of it but we come at least twice a week and we spend a good few hours few here hours, yeah. we just come and we lie down and we swim and we relax and you know but mm -hmm. like saturday when we come we'll bring a bag and we'll rake up some of this rubbish and clean up around about here where we sit mm -hmm. so we're asking the government or whoever is responsible please please can you do something to maintain this beach so that everyone can enjoy it and just see that St. Thomas is a place to live and to work and to raise a family. Thank you.